All right, after two days of riding the Rascal, it is just unbelievable how capable this bike is for 130 millimeters of travel. Like just unbelievable. It's a super quiet bike. It doesn't get hung up on anything on these descents. Just, it just propels you forward the whole time and it's super fun. What's up guys, I just got back from my ride on the Revel Rascal, uh, kind of a mid-travel 29er, and uh, man, it was really great. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. We do bike reviews. Uh, go check out my library of bikes. I have a ton of different bikes, uh, lots real similar to this bike. And uh, yeah, check me out on Instagram too. This video was filmed probably a month ago, and so to stay more up to speed with what I'm doing, uh, go follow me on Instagram and you'll be uh, more up to speed. Man, I was so stoked to get out on this bike. I've um, my buddy Tyler's ridden it and done a review on it. Salt Cycles here in uh, in Utah is a Revel dealer, and they've been just talking to me about this bike for a couple months now. I just haven't had the opportunity to, to get out on it. And finally, now November 2019, I'm out here on it. And uh, it blew my mind. The, the rear suspension is unbelievable. It's um, Revel licenses the uh, suspension style from Canfield Brothers, and uh, it's called the CBF, the Canfield Brothers formula uh, suspension and this is my first time on it it was mind-blowing it was so good uh, the only time I can remember descending down Jacobs with this much speed and confidence is uh, probably uh, years ago on the uh, the Firebird 27.5 the first time I rode that bike it just felt unbelievable in fact a lot of the characteristics of this bike today kind of felt like a pivot bike a little bit I know it's a different suspension style but it has that real planted, muted feeling. And, and the number one thing I would say to describe this bike and this suspension style, it doesn't get hung up on anything. It feels like like bombing down Jacobs today. It, it literally felt like water just flowing over a bridge or over a waterfall. And I, I know that might sound confusing or weird, but it never got hung up on anything, constantly propelling forward. You don't feel that harsh hang up on anything that you sometimes feel on a lot of bikes, especially at high speeds over that real chattery one foot, one and a half foot, you know, chundery sections. And I, I literally got to the bottom of the three minute segment on Jacob's Ladder and just like got off the bike and looked at the bike and thought, I don't think I've ever ridden anything like this ever before. Oh man, you gotta shut it down there at the end. Woo! That is some high speed fun. Thing doesn't get hung up on anything. Man, that was unreal, dude. I can't believe it's 130 mil of travel. So descending, you know, 10 out of 10. This is incredible. I, I really liked it. Climbing, it was, you know, it, it, it feels a little draggy, and that could be the tires, of course. It's a heavier bike at like almost 31 pounds. I'm on the X01 build, the $7,000 build. Um, head to Revel's website to check out all the specs on the bike. You know, 66 degree head tube angle and like a 75 degree suit tube, seat tube angle. Just under a 450 reach. I think it's like a 444 reach. And, um, I'm on a size medium. I'm five foot eight, 140 pounds. It felt, it felt incredible. It, it, descending, I, I just don't think there's anything I've ever felt as good as this. I mean, I know I love the Yeti SB150 and that's a different bike entirely, but a, as far as like a do everything trail bike, if you want to just go mock chicken downhill, not ever get hung up on anything, this is probably the best bike I've ridden for that. Um, on the slower, more flowy trails, 
it, it wasn't as unique feeling. It was very just, you know, it felt like a good trail bike. I, there, there, there's nothing wrong with it at all. I loved it. Um, I, I think if you want to smash some downhills and have a good daily driver trail bike, you've got to give the Revel Rascal a try. It's just, it'll blow your mind. It's unbelievable. It comes well specced. I feel like it's a good value for the amount of money that it is. It's a unique new brand that's out. Maybe you've never heard of it. Um, but I think it's a really rad bike. If, if you have a chance to, to hook up with the Revel demo truck and it comes into your area, um, definitely go out and demo it. If you're here locally in Utah, Salt Cycles is a Revel dealer and they've got these in stock to go demo. You can go, I think they got a couple of these you can go demo. So man, what a rad bike. I really liked it. It has a lot of unique stuff to it. The suspension's different and it just doesn't get hung up on it. Yeah, overall, this is a really good do-it-all bike. Um, in terms of climbing, my personal bike that I ride every day is an Ibis Ripley, which is a little bit shorter travel than this Rascal. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't say this Rascal climbs as good as the Ripley, not, not, not even not even close, I didn't think. But uh, I'd say it climbs more like the current high tower or, or the uh, Ibis Ripmo maybe. And, and it also feels more like that bike. Um, it feels like a bigger bike than, than what the numbers suggest on this thing. It would be an excellent do everything bike all day. Go do a long 30, 35 mile ride um, or go to a bike park, honestly. Um, another takeaway from my uh, ride the last couple days was how quiet this bike is. It just feels solid, quiet, well built. It feels, I know it sounds weird to say, it feels expensive. Like <laughs> it feels like a really nice bike. Um, it's a 29er. Uh, again, head over to Revel's website and, and, and check out um, the information that they have. But yeah, climbing was good. Um, it, it climbed well. It, it, it kind of scoots along the trail well, but it doesn't have that real sporty rocket ship type feel. Um, yeah, I would say just to wrap it up, I mean, when you're descending, it just feels it feels like water flowing over a bridge or like flowing off a waterfall, just very fluid feeling. Um, you know, it, it, it still has a sporty feel to it, like a kind of a, a poppy nimble feel to it, but it has this real planted flowing feel to it. Like it just wants to go fast. Um, I would say of all the mid travel bikes I've ridden, that was probably the fastest, most in control I've been down, down that section of trail that we just watched. And it was incredible, man. Uh, head into Salt Cycles here in Sandy. They've got demo bikes in, I think, every size in stock. Um, talk to Chris or Jason, and they are just uh, really, really a good shop to go demo from. They can, they can get you set up on this bike. They're also an Ibis uh, Pivot and Cannondale and Yeti dealer. Um, and I think Rebel also, uh, Rebel has a, a demo truck going around the country too. So figure out when they're going to be in your town and, and check them out. But uh, man, what a cool bike. I mean, uh, some of the hangups for me with a new brand like this is, um, and I, I wouldn't say this is a, a, a dig on, on Revel at all, but they're, they're a new brand. They haven't been around forever. And so, um, I don't know what resale value will be like on this thing. I would imagine it would be pretty good because it's an awesome bike, <laughs> but not a lot of people are going to know about it. And so the bike it reminded me of the most was probably the Pivot Switchblade or the Pivot Trail 429. It had a real damp, solid feel that those bikes have. Um, I used to own the, the Pivot Trail 14 and that was an incredible bike. This is just a, a little bit more capable, but has that really um, damp and controlled feel to it and very quiet, quiet feel to it as well. So um, anyway, have you guys ridden a Revel bike before? Have you guys ever heard of them before? Uh, comment in the section down below and, uh, and I'll, I'll get back to you and reply uh, to your comments and questions. Um, I thought it was an incredible bike. What a, what a great bike. It's cool to see a new brand. I think it's awesome. Uh, brand out of Colorado and they, they had some roots back here in Utah. So I, that kind of speaks to me because I'm in Utah. Um, but I'm five foot eight, rode a size medium today and I loved it. I was really stoked on this bike. Um, I hope that video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, stick around, subscribe and uh, check out my other videos that are similar to this bike and uh, see if you can't find the right bike that you're looking for. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time. Oh jeez. <laughs>